For the Boston Celtics, it's their second elimination game of the playoffs. They already had one earlier in the conference semifinals, a game seven against Toronto. And Coach talked about the, the needing to pressure the basketball more. You see that early switching, keeping bodies on BAM. Prior to that, in the first four games, he's taken 32 shots here in the series. 31 of them are from three. Uh, as Marcus Smart knocks down the three-pointer has come into the game for them. Butler spins. Foul line jumper, got it. 15 to five, a 10-point lead already. Eric Spolster has pretty much decided to go against that and he's gotten a lot of benefits going small in this series thus far. Jalen Brown from straight on, that's a three. His rebounding and distributing, he's done a little bit of everything. Dragic, nice move, and gets the bounce. What a finish. And Boston playing without either Smart or Walker, so totally point guardless. Duncan Robinson, connects Robinson from downtown. He's got 12 points. Out of bio, the free throws, not showing any ill effects from that left arm injury that he suffered in game four. Jalen Brown, nice move, count it, and one. Just over a minute gone by here in the second. Duncan Robinson again drives. Layup is good. Duncan Robinson getting layup after layup. Canner is a great low post scorer and a great offensive rebounder. Gets it down low and lays it up and in. Right away contributes on a pretty feed from Jalen Brown. Coach is right. The challenge for him is not going to be on the offensive end or on the offensive boards. It's going to be getting it done defensively as the Heat. Walker got it caught on his hip. Now resets. Wanamaker drives inside. Pretty layup from Brad Wanamaker. The open Jalen Brown trailing on the opposite side. Dragic misses. Butler the offensive board. Dragic this time takes it to the basket. Goes reverse and banks it home. Broadcasting will make you crazy. <laughs> Vile gets it inside. And the layup rolls around and drops in. Canter calling for it, has big position down low, layup, he's got it, and it's Canter, three for three from the field. That was the rebound. All the switching the Celtics are doing right now, there's been some miscommunications as Smart with a terrific transition push. Jalen Brown gets a good wide open look, knocks down the three. Just the fourth three-pointer, they're four for 14, but that cuts the lead to seven. Really good pass by Tatum on the dribble penetration. Tyler Hero trying to get on the board. And that rattles in for his first points after his 37-point explosion in game four. Brown gets behind the defense and throws it down. Nice feed inside. Crowder gets that one to go. Bam out of bio. What a talented passer for a big man. That's his third assist. As players, you've got to give of yourself. Bad pass from Hero. Stolen by Tatum. Tatum down the lane. Goes up. Lays it up. Right now, the Celtics trail by seven. Walker finds some room. Knocks down the shot. Kemba Walker's second field goal. Now he comes off in space against the drop coverage. A terrific call by Brad Stevens as Butler gets one to roll. But points for Crowder. He's 0 for 4 from 3, but has been able to get to the basket a few times. Tatum steps back. That's a 3. Tatum's first three-pointer, and Canner outweighs him by about 40 pounds. Butler drives, and Butler finishes Jimmy Butler. He's been outstanding in this first half. I love his aggressiveness. Hayward double, and instead of passing it out, gets a great look down low. Butler behind the back to Crowder. Crowder off the dribble. Canner doesn't go for that fake. Duncan Robinson, corner three. That's good. Duncan Robinson's third three-pointer of the half. He still have this lead. Adebayo lost it. Picked up by Walker. Walker to Brown. Brown inside. Banks it home. As Miami goes to zone for the very first time tonight. Tice gets in the middle. Knocks down the shot. The lead is cut to three. Two for seven tonight for Goran Dragic. Marcus Smart pulls back. Puts it in. Smart ties the game with a three-pointer. Hero guarded by Jalen Brown. Dragic shoots over Smart. Shot's good. What a tough shot. Smart in his face. And Dragic hits the three. 
Excellent defense by Boston. That ends that 13 straight points. Nice feet inside. Smart. Jalen Brown banks it home. Marcus Smart with some excellent passes. And Brown has 16. Walker pushing it up the other way for Boston. Whips a pass. Tatum lines up a three. Puts it in. Jason Tatum from downtown. Walker walked in to a rhythm pull-up. Jimmy Butler gets it inside. Crowder banks it home. Crowder's been struggling from three-point range. That's his third block shot here tonight. And he was non-existent in the first half, Mark, as he sets another ball screen against the zone. Beautiful adjustment offensively versus the zone. Kemba Walker now three for four from downtown. It's a 10-point lead. Butler with a left hand slips it up and in. In each of the first two games and couldn't hold on. Well, they've got the momentum right now. Dragic gets inside. Count it and one. He is so crafty. Tatum against Iguodala. Step back, falling away. Got it. Jason Tatum now with 18. And the lead is 11 for the Celtics. And as a former player, I can tell what the Miami Heat are thinking right now. This is not the same team we've been facing all this time. Smart gets in the paint, kicks it out. Tatum gets a good look for three. It's good. Jason Tatum drills another. And Tatum's got 23. Remember, he had that huge game in game seven against Toronto to hold off elimination. Dragic spins, Dragic drives and banks it home. Sweet move from Goran Dragic. He hitting him with the one hard trap to get him a little less comfortable. Smart another steal, Tatum another drive and the finish. Jason Tatum now with 27 points. The Celtic defense, as you guys noted, really picked up their intensity to start the third, although they're having trouble stopping Dragic. Duncan Robinson the rebound. Tyler Hero connects on a three. Hero, his first three-pointer of the game. All you need to say, he's a stud. Thank you so Thanks. much, Brad. Back to you, Mike. All right, Rachel. Tyler Hero, bank shot is good. What a difficult going left with the right hand, floats it off the glass. But I like how Miami's responded as Dragic flops down again and Brown drives it to score. Uncontested. Andre Iguodala drives, layup, rolls around That's and drops Iguodala. in. Nice sweeping move from Iguodala. And I bet you it entices Brad Stevens to play him more. <laughs> Haywood, Connor, Jalen Brown. That's good. Three-pointer for Jalen Brown. Tatum a huge second half again. Step back. Corner Brown tries it again. Puts it in. Jalen Brown back-to-back -back threes. And the lead is ballooned to 14. Shot making an offense brings about better spirit or better spirit brings about shot making and more flow on the offense That's as Dragic hits. Another steal. This time it's Walker. Walker throws it up for Haywood and Haywood banks it home. Costly turnover there for Miami. Brad Stevens said about game four, he felt their lack of shot making affected their defensive intensity. As Haywood drives and throws it up and in. Timeout Miami. Crowder doubled but finds Dragic. Crowder draws the foul, count it, and one. First half. Tatum. Shot won't go. Tice right there to clean it up. And a whistle. Brown, a little crossover. Nice move, nice spin, nice finish. Jalen Brown with 26 points. Butler lost it, picked up by Smart, ahead to Tatum. Tatum goes up, he's fouled, layup, counted, and one. Players in double figures for the Celtics as we have two minutes remaining. Tyler Hero, wide open, knocks down the three-pointer, his second three. He's got 12. As we will have a game six, and as you guys have talked about, you know, Tatum had another sparkling performance as Brown puts it in. It's not over. It can be done. Talking about overcoming a 3-1 deficit. That's now a 3-2 deficit. The Boston Celtics force game six with an impressive 121-108 victory over the Heat.